Hey everyone, and welcome to a bit of a different video. So this is something I've actually never tried before. I've never done a speedrun. I've only seen a few of them played, so I'm definitely not the most experienced person in the world when it comes to this. Uh, I probably got a few things wrong. In fact, I know in this run there are definitely things I could have done differently, and I'll probably talk about those as we go through the run. Um, I'm recording my voice afterwards, so I played through this run silently, so everything that I'm saying is commentary afterwards. And uh, as far as I know, this is pretty close to the regulations stated on speedrun.com for the Wolf Quest, uh, Wolf Quest speedruns. Uh, I don't know if it's perfect. There were a couple of things that I'm not sure I understood quite right the first time around, so it may or may not count as a legitimate run, but it's pretty close. Uh, it's not too far off from what would be a legitimate run. But anyway, I'll talk more about that as we get into the run. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So I actually didn't start the timer right away. I started that at the moment the flyover ended. I think that's up to regulations, but uh, I'm not quite sure. So the regulations on speedrun.com are all created by the original person to do a run. And so I, I'm not positive, like there, it's not an official thing set up by WolfQuest or, or whatnot, but according to the runs on speedrun, that is the regulations you use. And so I think that was what they were, were supposed to, uh, or what I was supposed to do with that, but I'm not entirely positive. The one thing that I'm not sure about is if it'll actually count according to the regulations because there were a couple of times that uh, I did things I think a little bit differently than the other person I saw speed run this and uh, so um yeah, I wasn't totally sure about that, but uh, you'll see right away that I actually got ridiculously lucky here. This is like one in a million that we had a bear spawn right away because, of course, we're in the gathering experience stage. And this was actually my plan all along was to try and find the two bears that almost always spawn, the one up at the High Ridge Pond where we're going now and the one at the Bear Rock. Uh, I figured that would be more efficient than getting uh, or than having to hunt all the elk just because of the way that uh, the elk hunting works. It's a lot slower, but of course these bears are not a guaranteed spawn, so it was kind of a risk in the first place to uh, head up here because this is quite out of the way. So you can see I just checked briefly to make sure I was on the right track here. But uh, we did get a bear spawn up at the High Ridge Pond, which was another stroke of luck because not only did we have a bear that n didn't even usually spawn, that's, I've only seen that happen a couple of times. I mean, sometimes it is a cougar, which is also 200 experience points, but nevertheless, a, a very ridiculously lucky spawn. <laughs> and that's now 500 of 750 experience points that I've already accumulated here. So uh, it was a pretty, pretty fortunate event. Uh, I was very, very lucky that that happened. On the way back here, you can see we're coming up on the Coyote Rock, and I believe, yeah, we did get a Coyote spawn, and so that helped out too. That's an additional 25 experience points once we've killed the Coyote, which, you know, it's pretty hard to not kill a Coyote. <laughs> so we did get getting those 25, so we're now at 525. And uh, I ran right over this way now to check the bear rock, which you can see in the distance. Unfortunately, I did run out of stamina. Uh, I'll have Flash's stats displayed on the screen here. Um, I debated going after the fox because I did get a bite in and I kind of started chasing it for a minute here, but quickly realized that this is not going to happen because Flash is not a super fast wolf. Uh, she only has, I believe, 60% speed. I don't know, the actual stats are on the screen. I don't have it right now. But we came over to the bear rock then to see if we could find a bear, and lo and behold, we did. So very, very, very good luck with the spawns. Very fortunate. Uh, we were ridiculously lucky. I can't stress that enough. And if I play through this run again, which I do want to, I'm probably not going to get that lucky. Now, this bear was quite hard to chase off, but still a significant improvement above trying to hunt elk. Now, this was the first mistake that I made. I originally started out heading kind of towards Druid territory, but then I realized I didn't actually have enough experience, and I realized Flash probably wouldn't be able to take on a Druid Wolf, and I was going to spend a lot of time looking for it. So then I kind of started heading up towards the mountain here, and uh, started to run in that direction, because the wolves there I know aren't all that tough. But then I realized that if I go to the mountain, I'm going to have a long journey back to Slough Creek, and so I decided I wanted to turn around and uh, go back to the other wolf territory over here and face the Slough Pack, because uh, I probably could take on those wolves, and then it would just be a short run to get to Slough Creek. Now, that did lose some time, unfortunately. That's something that I, I will do differently in the next run, is I don't want to be indecisive. Uh, I prefer to just run out this way and go to this pack right away. But I didn't think of that in the moment, and so... 
it wasn't quite what I was hoping for. I decided not to go after that fox again. Flash is not a fast wolf. It wouldn't have been worth it. And so, or she's a relatively fast wolf, but she's not as fast as she'd need to be to chase down a fox like that. So I decided I wasn't going to go for that. I just ran out here to wolf territory as quickly as possible. But you can see we still are only four minutes in, so that's honestly not too terrible. Uh, I thought it was going to be a lot worse than that. Uh, this is significantly faster, I believe, than the speed run that uh, currently exists out there. There's not a lot of wolf quest speed runs, I'll say that right now. <laughs> but um, it, it is pretty fast, even in comparison to that, and I believe it is. A lot faster than elk hunting because normally it takes about two to three minutes at least to bring down one elk and so with that in mind this is a pretty good increase thankfully we ran into a wolf that's not all that tough here it wasn't the pack leader it's this guy who's not a pushover but who's not uh not super aggressive either i think it took us just a few bites to take him out here and uh, so there we go i think no one more time at least I don't actually remember how many bites it was, I just tried to get through it quickly. And there we go, you can see he's submitted already, and uh, so he's uh, going to be running off in a minute. Uh, unfortunately, there's nothing you can do about the time that you just have to stand there in these, so that makes uh, wolf fights kind of slow, but I just confirmed there that I have enough experience to find a mate, and I think in a second here we'll get the pop-up. I couldn't find my mouse for a moment. <laughs> I was like, shoot, I'm going to lose time not clicking on the pop-up there. But uh, we did manage to click on it there, and then I didn't end up actually going to get food. I debated it, but decided against it. I almost started to turn around about the time when I was thinking, oh, I don't need food, and there we go. But then I realized I'm not out of the uh, territory yet, so I turned around just just shy of the border there. And so we came back into the territory to make sure that we would actually be able to uh, to do it. Now... I believe the official speed run, or the, the official speed run for 2.7 that I've seen posted, and you can see we did find a dispersal ma mail here, which was super lucky as well, because we've had some trouble with that in some of the other ones, with finding a dispersal wolf, but, uh, with some of our other playthroughs. But I believe the official run for this was just shy of 40 minutes, the, the first run that was, or the only run that I've seen posted, uh, for a wolf quest speed run. Uh, for 2. Point, or for 2.7, excuse me, I think I said 2.5 a minute ago, but uh, I believe the official run is around like 40 minutes or something like that, so that was my target, was to try and beat that. Didn't really expect to, given that this is my first time doing a speed run for anything, but uh, you'll see, you'll see as we get closer <laughs> how, how well I did or didn't do. So here we go. We have the the glitchy graphics as always. It'll be it'll be nice to see that hopefully be improved upon for Wolf Quest Three, uh, where it'll be a little bit more uh, actually geared to the wolves and not just this set animation that doesn't really line up super well sometimes. But anyway, there we go. We've got five hearts. We named this guy Blitz because of Flash and Blitz. They're fast names. The whole point of this is to be fast. There we go. Uh, it always makes you run a little bit out of the social arena where you can't steer your wolf, and so that was the moment when I got back control. And we pretty much just headed down to Slaw Creek from here, didn't really do anything in the meantime. We didn't have to have enough experience points to name the pups. Uh, spoiler alert, don't get attached. The fastest way to run through this game is with one pup. Uh, yeah. <laughs> There's a part of me that's always going to feel guilty, but speedruns are speedruns. So, yeah, Flash headed down here with Blitz to Slaw Creek. And this is something that I'm not sure if I was supposed to do or not. I actually paused the timer for the loading and resumed it again once this flyover ends because the loading is a variable I can't really control. And so I figured it's probably not illegal to... To, to do that. Now, I don't know if I was supposed to or not. It was only a few seconds, so I don't think it made that huge of a distance in, or difference in the long run, and I smashed into that wall there, too. Of course, that's always something you want to do when you're speedrunning. But, uh, yeah, uh, I didn't know for sure if I was supposed to do that or not. I did it anyway. Hopefully that doesn't disqualify me. Um, I, again, I, I wasn't totally, I was kind of just trying to get the hang of it. I didn't know if I was going to have a good run or not. And so... I wasn't entirely sure on what the rules would or wouldn't um, allow for this, according to the speedruns on speedrun.com. 
Uh, nevertheless, I still think that's, I, I still think this counts as a legit speed run. I just don't know if I'll be able to put it up on the site, which is kind of where the metric that I was going by. <laughs> so I did decide to go hunting. I wasn't sure if I was going to or not, but I figured we probably need at least one carcass because we do need to be able to feed the, the pups, especially for the Grow Your Pups mission, and I didn't want to have to count on something spawning in. Now, this is kind of where I actually ran into problems. So I chose to play on pretty easy because, you know, I figured less predators to chase, it'll probably be easier in the long run. Um, you'll see how that started to cause me issues later on because there was one thing that I didn't account for with that and uh, it has to do with the pups. But anyway, I chased this cow elk and uh, brought her over here. We brought her down right at the base of the mountain here. And uh, this carcass is the one you'll see me using pretty much throughout the playthrough, except for a couple others that did spawn in. I think you can technically do this only with carcasses that spawn in, but I really wasn't sure if I wanted to take that risk. Uh, but you will see over the course of the playthrough that a few other carcasses did spawn in here. So we ate. And, uh, well, I ate. Apparently Blitz didn't. Blitz just stood there watching. Blitz didn't really help. Blitz let Flash do everything. And uh, so we're going to head up here. So Blitz and Flash themselves, I just created them because I needed wolves to run the speedrun. And it seemed like fast names to me. So that, that was kind of their origin. They don't have any specific sort of origin story. Uh, I may continue to use those names, or if you guys have alternate suggestions, you can uh, go ahead and, and offer them. But uh, I'll be starting over with a fresh wolf every time we do this, because if we have any experience starting out, then it'll automatically let us find a main. That's not what we want. We want to play through the game from start to finish. Also, I think I've been trying to keep up with... Um, with changing the segment we're on, but there might be a few times when I got that off just by a little bit. It's really the end that is most important. And you can actually see, I didn't catch this until after, but there is a ghost segment at the end. Uh, that one dash with no writing by it, that was just caused by how I uh, misconfigured my timer software. So the official time that I'll be using for this is the time at the end of the journey whenever we mark that off. So that's the official time I'll be setting for this. Uh, not that weird extra segment, that was just an accident. So we got pretty far marking the territory. I almost started to go after that coyote. I gave him one bite, but I figured, you know what, there's no no reason to actually do that right now. Uh, there's no benefit in it. He might eat one of the carcasses, and I was really hoping he wouldn't eat both of the carcasses, because I don't know if they do that or not. I think sometimes they can. But uh, I decided it wasn't worth it to risk the time there, which it probably was a good idea I didn't chase him. Uh, in the end there, because it can take a little bit sometimes. So we finished up pretty quickly here. Uh, I just tried to go as fast as possible. You know, we do this little run pee thing, and um, that's pretty much the fastest way I know to mark the territory, because howling takes so long that uh, I didn't want to spend a lot of time howling, and I believe it's at 95% that the pups actually arrived, so you'll see in a moment here. Yep, there we go. And we successfully established our, our territory. So we have four pups. <laughs> I clicked through this very, very fast. And you'll see here, uh, I needed one pup that was distinct so that I could kind of keep track of which pup to feed. Because, again, the goal with this was mostly to make it through with one pup, as terrible as that sounds. <laughs> so the pup we ultimately ended up choosing was the female because she was the one who was distinct from the other. She had three brothers, and so that would make her easier to keep track of. There wasn't, like, one pup with a specific coat color or something. Uh, because, you know, we didn't we didn't earn enough to get the white pup, and uh, we didn't have a pup that was born unique from the rest other than the gender there, so we ended up choosing female. <laughs> and she's the one we were going to pick. It sounds terrible, but it's a necessary sacrifice for the speed run. Um, yeah, don't get attached. The, the goal was for only female to survive, so... Yeah. <laughs> I still feel terrible. It sounds terrible saying that. It kind of is terrible, but it's the fastest way to get through the game. So for science, this is what was necessary. Um, so I basically, I was trying to figure out what the fastest way to raise the pack affinity would be, because they all started wandering, and so I couldn't just play bow normal like I normally do. They all decided to walk off, and so that was pretty unlucky. Uh, kind of a, a shift in our luck from this point on. We're still doing pretty good time-wise at this point, but we do lose quite a bit of time coming up here. 
And so what I ended up doing was just howling to try and do that, even though that's a little bit slower, I think, than play bowing. There weren't enough pups gathered together for me to use the play bow method. Hopefully that would change for a future one, but I'm also anticipating that the first mission is going to take a lot longer if we don't have three bears spawn like we did this time. Um, maybe that's just a run conditional go for now and start re resetting the run if, um, <laughs> if, if we don't get that because I'm pretty sure we're not going to, uh, to reach that goal otherwise. But we got pretty close here. I think I just, did I howl again or did I play bow? I, I think I went, oh yeah, I went to get food because it did go up all the way. And then I believe, yeah, there we go. We got the mission complete pop up. So I basically went to get food at this point because I wanted to make sure predators would spawn. You can see we did have some carcasses that appeared. So that was good news for us. I guess that coyote probably despawned when we switched seasons. That's most likely what happened here. So I ate the remains of this carcass and then we went back because I thought there was going to be a predator. Now, we had to chase off three predators for this mission, so I still did chase the predators at this point, but my original plan was to then, when we hit the Grow Your Pups mission, just let predators take three of the pups. That was why it was important that we kept an eye on female because she was the only distinct one and so she would be the best one to feed and I didn't want her to die after we already started feeding her because that would cause us to lose a lot of time. Um, so with that in mind, uh, I did chase off the predators in this stage, but that was kind of my plan was to just kind of let, let nature take its course <laughs> for the rest of it. That, or I didn't, uh, I didn't, or I, what I thought might happen otherwise is that if we make sure we only feed female, possibly nature would take its course in a different way. And uh, in any case, we'd be left with one pup. I definitely didn't plan that the best. The reason that I opted to not just straight up drop the pups in the creek was number one, because I felt really bad. I, I know that's a terrible thing for a speedrunner. <laughs> you, you can't, you can't, if this is how you're planning to play, you, you can't get attached like that. But I did, and I it would be easier if it wasn't directly by my hand. But uh, also because I've had trouble with that in the past. Um kind of a kind of a not not so fun secret about the playthrough. So a couple of times we've had wolves who've chal had challenges that involved random generation, random random number rolls and that has caused pups to die. So for example, Aurora lost a couple of pups to her challenge which was a dice challenge. Obviously the game didn't pick up on that and so that's that yeah, that's how I have experience with dropping pups in the creek. Oh, yeah, it, it didn't work out so great, but unfortunately it was a necessary thing for our challenges with that. It still made me feel bad, but, you know, according to our challenge, they were supposed to be dead, and I didn't want to just sit and not... I, I didn't want to just have to sit around and wait for a predator to get them. I figured it'd be better for them to be gone right away from the start of that before anything like that happened. So, yeah, behind-the-scenes confession time... That's what happens with those challenges. <laughs> I feel terrible for saying it, but you know what? It was not my control. We had a, we had a dice roll that went badly, and that was the result of it, so I was kind of just following through on that. Uh, we didn't have a predator spawn this time. I thought for sure we were going to, but um, we didn't. And you'll also notice that at this point, because uh, I kind of I kind of just left at this point and came back in a little bit, doubled around. But you'll also notice at this point that I haven't marked the territory at all. I didn't actually want to mark the territory through this because I figured if we had stranger wolves show up, that might be an easier way for um, for the the yeah, it might be easy. It might be the easiest thing uh, at this point. Now we got a cougar, which is not optimal because the cougars do this long running away thing and. Uh, it's not easy to deal with when you're trying to speedrun. It takes a while, and so we kind of just stood here at the den. You can see it took several seconds before we finally got this cutscene zoom in, and even then it took quite some time for the cougar to actually make it all the way over here for us to fight it. I kind of just kept trying to raise the uh, pack affinity there, but it took a good 20 to 30 seconds for this to happen. Ultimately, I tried to get it to turn, but that doesn't really work with cougars, so I was far enough away from the den to just be able to run in and attack it. At one point, then, I went to go get more food, and I believe, yep, mission complete. So that's when we finished that one. We knew, now moved on to the Grow Your Pups mission. We're still about 20 minutes in, which is pretty decent time, but this is where I really made some mistakes. So I talked about how setting things to pretty easy didn't actually do me any favors. 
this is where that became apparent because I started trying to actually let predators take the pups that we weren't going to need. <laughs> as awful as it sounds, again, speedrunning, it's not always nice. <laughs> um, but I started kind of just waiting for that to happen and it didn't exactly work the way I was planning. You'll see that a couple of times here in a little bit. It actually took probably longer. In the future, I'm just going to have to bite the bullet and just get rid of the other pups directly. <laughs> but you can see we didn't have... Oh, we did. We finally did have a bear spawn. But I decided I was just going to feed female and then kind of try to aggro the bear. It didn't, it didn't aggro on us right away. It took a little bit, but then it decided it was going to come for us. So I figured, okay, I'll just grab female and walk away. Well... It didn't exactly work the way I was planning, because for whatever reason, the bear... Well, first of all, the bear, I got far enough away that it decided it wasn't going to actually attack. And when it did, it decided that it wasn't going to attack any of the pups sitting right in front of it. Uh, it decided it wanted to go after female, probably because she was the farthest from the den. So I don't know why, but this became a recurring theme. All of the predators that appeared decided they wanted to chase the one pup I was trying to preserve. So, for whatever reason, yeah, things didn't quite go the way I was hoping they would. Uh, Blitz got attacked a little bit there, but you'll see this bear again is gonna turn around and try to come around the side of the den. But eventually then, when Blitz grabbed the female pup there, the bear did decide to go after one of the others. And goodbye to our first pup. That was kind of sad, and it goes against my nature to stand there and watch it. But speedrunners got to do what speedrunners got to do. This is kind of why I haven't done speedruns up until now. <laughs> Maybe at some point I'll do one where we actually have to speedrun it with all four pups and uh, not let any of them die and kind of kind of make my own speedrun challenges just to see. But for now, I'm just trying to play by the, the rules someone else established. So uh, in any case, first pup down, I went to get more food because we needed to continue getting female pups weighed up. Now, this is where everything kind of backfired because you saw how long it took for that predator to, or for that bear to actually take a pup. This became a recurring theme. And the other thing that I was kind of counting on was the starvation mechanic, but because it was pretty easy, it takes like 30 minutes for the pup's health to go down all the way. So, this is where I lost a lot of time. <laughs> this is where things went badly. This is, this is where things were not great. Um... Yeah, unfortunately, I didn't plan that out the greatest. I thought the predators were going to more intensely target the other pups, but unfortunately, they just did not. So I came back, I continued feeding female a little bit here, but I also ended up running off to go get more food, because again, no predator. So uh, the, the predators on uh, Pretty Easy also don't... Um, they don't spawn in that much. I decided not to kill the coyote either because, again, no benefit. But they just don't spawn in all that frequently. And, uh, again, that's kind of why I let the territory drop so much. I was hoping we would have predators spawn, but we just didn't. Uh, I kept kind of running around here trying to get something to spawn, and it just... It wouldn't. <laughs> it wasn't working. It wasn't happening. So I checked here just to see how much weight we had. Female pup had 12, so that was pretty good. She was doing decently. She had enough weight. And, uh, well, she didn't have enough to move on yet, but I was getting kind of desperate because by the time we leave on the journey, we don't want to be waiting around for the other pups because we are only feeding the one pup up to full weight. And if we didn't manage to do that, okay, and then we had a stranger wolf spawn. Um, but if we didn't manage to do that, then uh, we'd be waiting around trying to either feed the others or get rid of the others, and it would just be a mess. So I was trying to get the stranger wolf to actually aggro. It finally decided to, but again... We kind of stood here with female, we backed off, and instead of targeting the defenseless pups right in front of the den, guess what the stranger wolf did? You'll see it in a minute here. We had to get a little bit closer. Instead of going for the pups that were way out of my reach, it decided to come for our female pup again. I don't know why. I don't know if they just pick a pup randomly and we just got very unlucky. But, no, I ended up just trying to snatch this pup away from the stranger wolf repeatedly. Right as it was trying to, to make the attack, too. Repeatedly, you'll see this happen. The wolf will come back in a minute right there. Again, tried to kill the pup. Again, didn't succeed. Finally, I just got fed up with this. I tried putting her down over here, hoping that that would cause the stranger wolf to de-aggro specifically on her and just go after whoever was most convenient. 
but uh, again, it didn't necessarily work. <laughs> so I kind of ran up here, okay, decided it was going to go again, we came back down, and again, it went straight for a female pup, and again, I just pulled her away just in time, and at that point, I think is when I kind of got fed up and decided this is not working, and just decided I was going to chase off the wolf, and... Uh, not depend on predators to uh, not depend on predators to do the dirty work quite as much because it just wasn't working. So we kept feeding our female pup, and then I went to get more food again, and uh, waited basically for another predator to spawn. So we'll come back down here. You'll see that we have some carcasses still, and I went to go get some food from one of them while hoping that going this far away would cause another predator to spawn. So, we're 23 minutes in, which is still not bad time. Uh, it's after this that things really did go downhill quite a lot. Let's make sure we get full-on food. I wanted to make sure I was pretty pretty filled up, even though running away eventually would... Well, it, it kind of does help because you eventually do need all that uh, time to get other predators to spawn. And that's the disadvantage of playing on pretty easy. Now, if I was playing on this... If I was going to play through this again, I might actually take a crack at it on challenging... It would make things more difficult, but I think in some ways that'd be easier because we probably could rely on just feeding the pups and then not feeding some of them. And uh, it probably would work better in the long run. So this bear is up here. I decided I was going to try and give it another chance. And what I ended up doing, I kind of just tried to bring... Or I tried to feed the female pup. And I think... I can't remember if the bear decided it was going to go after her again this time, or if it decided it wanted to go after the others. I tried to position her so that it would have to run through the others, but it still, yeah, it did still remain locked on her. I think if you kind of guard a pup, then that triggers the predators to come after you. But I think this bear ultimately, oh no, it, it still did go at, it still did go after her <laughs> for quite some time. But I think ultimately I did manage to get it de-aggroed on her. Again, not entirely sure how, but I think I, I think I might have ended up picking up one of the other pups that you'll see in a minute here. Yeah, and it continued to do this. I'm pretty sure what I ended up doing was just putting another pup right in front of it. Eventually, it did turn on them and attack them, so I believe I just kind of kept doing this until it attacked one of these pups. Yeah, I tried to bring one of the pups and just, like, put it right in front of the bear, and the bear just stared at it for a while there and didn't do anything at first. It kind of lumbered off and decided it was going to reset itself, I guess, and then this time it actually did go for the attack for one of the pups that was right in front of it. So I guess if you kind of pup guard, then it really doesn't help. It, it actually, the predator will go for the pup you have, and so you kind of just have to back off and give it a little bit of space so that the bear doesn't keep chasing you. Um, at least that's what I, I think I learned from this. So we kind of checked our map. I was trying to see where Blitz was because I got started getting really worried that uh, we were going to just have to rely on the last pup starving there. And I didn't want Blitz to jump in and feed the pup because the mates do tend to do that. Which normally is a good thing. Normally that's what you want. But not so much in this case. Uh, as you can see, though, we are burning a lot of time here, and this is definitely a section that I want to do differently the next time I try a speedrun like this. So, we already had female our female pup up to 17 health, or 17 weight, sorry, and uh, so at this point we were just waiting around for this last pup, <laughs> and uh, at this point, I think there was another stranger wolf. I think if I come up to the den here, I think we did get another stranger wolf that spawned. And there's maybe a little bit more hassle with that. I believe, nope, it's it's left, or, well, not there, but I think when we came back, uh, it was there, if I'm recalling correctly. <laughs> but uh, we kind of just waited around. Oh, I was trying to keep Blitz away from the den as well, because, again, I didn't want him feeding the pups and uh, possibly ruining everything. So when we came up here, was it this time? Nope. <laughs> we, ran, we ran away again. I did, had to do this quite a lot throughout the playthrough, and so I think I'm not going to rely on predators. I'm either going to just bring the pups away from the den and leave them there or something, or directly drop them in the creek if I can get all the way down there. The trouble is the mate will try to intervene sometimes, which, understandably so, the mate does not want the pups to die. But the mate also doesn't understand that sometimes we have story challenges or some other nonsense that requires us to have a pub die, even though the game didn't say they should. So sometimes you end up fighting with that AI. And again, this wolf, 
left the pup alone right by the den and just beelined for this one. And so I kind of got fed up pretty quick and just chased it off. It came back. So this is actually what the stranger wolves do if you don't pursue them, by the way. They will turn around and come back. Uh, but if you, keep if you keep after them, they will run off. And so at this point, I kind of just decided that I was going to grab this pup and run. <laughs> because there's nowhere that had said you couldn't leave for the rendezvous site first. It's just very inconvenient and the mate won't help you. So I kind of just took off for the rendezvous site, because of course I know where it is at this point, and just started heading down away from the den. There was no reason not to at this point. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I kind of just did that and started running <laughs> and kind of just left the poor other pup at the den. I still, I, you know, I'm always going to feel bad because... I usually play from a very story perspective, and so doing challenges like this where you're treating it entirely as gameplay and is really tough, and there are the, the last pup finally did die there. And so I fed her again just to make sure it would register that she was at full weight, and it did. And I just hit let's go. I didn't... I just over... I saved a, or I just saved it as Flash because there was no reason not to. <laughs> uh, and we just basically took off running. So there was an eagle. It never actually attacked us. My goal at this point was basically just to book it. So we're already 30 minutes in. Again, our goal was just shy of 40. So we had 10 minutes to make this journey. But when, when Blitz decided to pick the pup up, I just took off. <laughs> because I realized he's going to follow me wherever I go. And the mates don't actually have stamina. So I decided I was going to take advantage of that mechanic mechanic as much as I could. Uh, we made it a reasonable distance, I think. Um, we actually did get pretty far. Uh, I just kept going, and I actually, I think we made it all the way to the creek here, where I just kept running and didn't stop, and Blitz just followed. <laughs> and so, we made really, really good headway. This The journey with one pup is actually stupid short. Uh, if you do it like this, you get through it with an insane amount of, uh, of speed here. I think we actually saw that in one of our challenges, I believe. I want to say it was Ajax's challenge that kind of had an interesting little split at the end. But uh, you can get through the journey, like, stupid fast if you, if you, if you get your mate to carry the pup. And uh, so we made it all the way down here. I got a little nervous because I started hearing hunting music and I thought maybe that was the coyote, like small prey hunting music. I thought maybe there was a coyote here. But I basically just backed up to the shore here and let Blitz carry the pup all the way over here. Um, there's no way to get the mage across the river with the pup at this point as far as I know. Actually, I should have just kept going and seen what would have happened. But uh, I did end up just... Um, Picking up the pup, bringing her to the edge here. I didn't want to risk my stamina running out because at this point, if we lost the pup, the run would be over. And so I went ahead, grabbed her again, ran across the river. Um, yeah, Flash is a pretty small wolf. She's definitely speed-based, and so she couldn't quite hold the pup out of the water there. And then I kept trying to get Blitz to grab her, but Blitz decided that enough was enough, I, which is fair. I mean... Yeah, he's, he's been pulling more than his way. He's been carrying the pup the whole the whole journey here. So I finally went back for the pup here and just grabbed her and started going. We're at 31 minutes. Uh, again, I was starting to get really, really panicky because we were coming up on that deadline there and uh, definitely getting a little bit close to that. I didn't know if I was going to win or not. It was my first time, so I didn't really expect to. But, uh, yeah, I, I still, at this point, I was close enough to want it, and at this point, I was close enough to go, hey, I want to win this. So, I, I was I was really, really trying to actually beat the current record at this point, <laughs> and uh, to see how fast we could get through this. So, there wasn't a lot I could do. I kept, I kept kind of running, and I think Blitz actually did bring the pup this time. So, but the trouble was, I was so low on stamina that you'll see Blitz runs right up and then ends up stopping when he caught up to us. And so, he carried the pup a little bit further, but not quite as far as I was hoping. So, basically, we kind of just ended up stopping here for a little bit. I tried to get him to go back for her. He didn't. And so... I went and picked her up again and just started running. This is definitely much slower. Or I, I, well, actually, this time what I started doing was I started picking her up and setting her down to try and get his attention. But nope, he decided he didn't want to. So eventually I just gave in and uh, carried her <laughs> for quite a portion of the way. The trouble with this method is that uh, your stamina really does come into play, whereas the mate doesn't actually have that as much and can basically just carry the pups indefinitely. Blitz decided he didn't want to go back for her again, so I kind of just walked ahead 
and tried to encourage him to go for her, but when my stamina filled up and he hadn't, I basically just ran back and grabbed her again and kind of kept going here just to see how far we could get. So we actually made it all the way to the tree here and we were getting really close. I was definitely thinking we had a good chance here as long as nothing happened and kind of getting excited because this is a fast time. This is faster than the, the current record. And so if everything I did was within guidelines, then we would have been able to win. And at this point, Blitz did grab the pup and carry her with, so I just kind of kept running and hoped he wouldn't catch up to us. Uh, I did use Orbit Cam there to look back and see if he was going to or not. But uh, we finally did run right up to the rendezvous site and get into the center. I actually got the achievement. Apparently, I never made it with only one pup. <laughs> and we, we got the achievement. We made it. And our final time here, it says 3328. It's technically 3325 because we had that weird ghost segment there. But that's actually, if everything counts, if everything qualified, then that is actually a record. So I'm going to be submitting it to speedrun.com. I'll let you guys know in the comments if that actually worked, uh, if, it, if it registered or not. There were a couple of things that I didn't quite do, I don't think. But uh, the run that I watched, they hadn't done that either. So... It's something that I wasn't entirely sure about or how strict it was, so I'm going to submit it anyway and see what happens. But in any case, that's still a very good time. I definitely want to try again. It was a lot of fun, even if some parts were kind of traumatic, like the pups. And yeah, that, that was a little traumatic, but <laughs> uh, I definitely do want to try it again and see if I can beat my previous time because that was pretty good, but I feel like I can do better. And uh, I definitely know I lost a lot of ground in any place or in several places. But in any case, uh, let me guys uh, let me know if you guys want to see something like this again, uh, because I would love to do it again. I'd love to share my progress. It's a little bit different than what we usually do. And maybe we'll alternate out with this a bit more, but I kind of wanted to do some more of this before Wolf Quest 3 releases, or I guess do some of this in the first place and not um not uh or, and try this for the first time here and not not wait until after wolf quest 3 releases because this is kind of a it'll be kind of a fun chance to play around with uh, wolf quest 2.7 and kind of get in some last hurrahs here as the release uh comes up on us uh again as far as the time i'm recording this video we still don't have a release date we still don't know when wolf quest 3 is coming out but, uh, you know, every day is a day closer, so we are we are getting closer, even if we don't know exactly when. But I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up here, because uh, this is the end of the run, this is the end of the episode. Let me know if you guys want to see it again. I would love to do it again if you guys want to see more of it. And, uh, yeah, I, I'm pretty pleased with how I did in this run. For, for a first run, I don't think it was too bad. Uh, but anyway, I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, until next time, this is Jay, over and out.